but it definitely came with some challenges. Oh, thank goodness for 2K. That's The Hornets making their grand entrance earlier. Looking good. Confident they can get the job done in front of their home crowd. And the game arrival. Now it's headed out of well, the yeah, they dotted every I and crossed every T. David, thank you. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Boston. Here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third best record in the conference. And, of course, Charlotte. They're looking to salvage what they can of the season. And checking out Charlotte, they've had... So it's both teams making substitutions here. Talk about rookies getting early playing time these days. Uh, were you counted on much your first season? You had a terrific rookie year, obviously, but I'm, I'm guessing you did. You, you were counted on early. Yeah, you know, for the high draft picks, you're usually going to go to a team that, that really needs your help. I was just blessed that I had great veterans, Hall of Fame veterans. When you look at guys like uh, Chris Mullen, <laughs> how about that? I was right. able to watch him practice and work and take care of his body. Latrell Sprewell, Billy Owens, all the great players, Avery Johnson. So I was counting on to do a lot, but those guys helped me do a lot, and they pumped confidence into me. I was able to steal their style, their work ethic. Uh, they showed me the ropes the right way, and I I couldn't have been blessed with any better veterans for me to start off my career with. This is it to Tatum. A fadeaway. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Just doing the job on the backboard. Ball up top. He's covered by Cantor. And the layup's good off the glass. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Celtics leading by five. Smart kicks to Cantor. To the right side. Schroeder against Ball. Off target at the rim. Everything looked good until the finish. And it all goes right. And Harris wide open. He shoots, and he's good on the three ball. Oh, they get burned this time. That's a shot they're willing to give up, though. Here's Schroeder. He has seven. Tatum passes to Smart. And it's blocked. Ball dishes to Harris. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, first year uh, for Coach Borrego uh, as a head coach. But he had a solid start. He's uh, from the Popovich coaching tree. Uh, he was given the reins of the Hornets, and he was tasked with improving their offense. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. Now Zephalosha. Back to Wanamaker. Shot clock at six. No good again that time. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Oh, great ball movement there. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. And with Borrego as coach, offense certainly was more fluid. Yeah, Borrego, he, he stresses ball movement. He encourages his players to look for early offense, more spacing in the system that benefits the whole roster. Boston again missing. Last game for Boston, they picked up the W against the Cavaliers. And, and you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. Yeah, not getting overwhelmed is important. Poise is something that you need to have in order to win on the road. And it's Whittle finishing it off. Yeah, and that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. On the wing, Cephalosha. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. And it's the Hornets ball. They're on an 11-2 run. Green against Martin. Go 
Williams with the steal. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Here's Green. That one doesn't drop. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Boston. The game is the first of a three-game season series for these clubs, both looking to take round one. And this first game is always interesting. It's going to give us a sense of what the dynamic between these teams is going to be this season. Here's Wanamaker. No points in the game yet for him. Six on the shot clock. Flying his luck from deep. That's a miss. His second after two shots. Charlotte in the lead. Charlotte moving it around. Punk for three. And another three for Charlotte. Yeah, and you got to love that three-point stroke of Monk. I mean, he's got such a high arcing shot there. It gives it a good chance to go in from deep. Here's Wanamaker. Missed inside. Charlotte leading by five. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Count that one. Six points for him. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Sevalosia passes to Williams. Here's Wanamaker. Pass to Williams. From deep three-point range, unable to get that one. Martin with it. So it's Charlotte heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. What stands out to you guys from the Hornets in this one? Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. Credit to Coach and Jamie. Some guys wouldn't have made those substitutions in the first quarter. But now it's paying off. On the floor for Boston. Williams is out there with Ojala. And it's Tavo Cephalosha. And it's Green. And it's Wanamaker in at the point guard. And a big summer for the Celtics. Some key decisions with multiple players hitting free agents. Yeah, with some comments from players like Terry Rozier in the offseason, you had a sense this roster could have a different look. I mean, now they're hoping the pieces fit and players can buy in with their roles. Rebound, Boston. At the elbow, Green. Line J on the way. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Safety move. And he sinks the layup. Eight points for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Wanamaker the pass to Williams. Here's Ojale. Now the pass to Wanamaker. Misses the three. Hornets leading by seven. Fires from 14. Here's McDaniels. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. The Celtics have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's Wanamaker. Nine points last game out. Williams can't hit. The Hornets have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Pass to Monk. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Now a timeout called by Boston. 
But Chris, the common thought is you don't want to be a middle of the road team. Do you think clubs are too quick now to pull the trigger on a rebuild uh, as opposed to giving some time to what they've got and be more patient? Are you kidding me, Kevin? Don't make me go out. I'm just why I need a psychologist because, hey, when I was in Washington, we had myself, Rasheed Wallace, and Juwan Howard yeah. and Rod Strickland. Like, just, just wait a minute. Give us, give us one year to try. And by the way, the Bulls won 72. We couldn't have won a championship that year anyway. And so, yeah, I think a lot of teams are short-sighted and it's based upon their expectations. And the expectations may not be based in reality. And he comes up with the deuce. And the Hornets lead by 11. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Ruder finds Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. Wow. I am more impressed by Tatum every time I watch him. That's a veteran. Passes it to Bridges. At the top of the key, Monk over Smart. Good work defensively by Smart. Now with the D playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. Good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Ball gets to Monk. Back to Ball. Wants to get it to Smart and does. And even three on three break. And Crown throws it down. What an athletic play from Brown. Showing off his mad hops on these jams. Hornets leading by five. To Monk to the inside. Williams with the block. Brown feeling it out a bit. Addition now to Schroeder. And here's Tatum for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 11 points. They defeated Indiana in their last. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. Well, nowadays, the three-point shot is huge. They were on fire from outside. The feed to Williams. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Now it's just a three-point Hornets lead, and the Hornets call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some... And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. And there's the pass to Washington. Here's Ball. He's tightly guarded. Cephalosha with the steal. A three ball. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Ojale. Charlotte's gone three of four with the long range bombs here in the second quarter. To the paint, stolen by Cantor. Wanamaker misses. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Hayward the bounce pass. Uses the glass to finish the lane. He's got 14. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Wanamaker the pass to Cantor. Now here is Cephalosha. Pass to Wanamaker. No good with the triple. And still, he still is quite. They could use just a little bit of help from him. And it's Washington missing. Celtics trail by five. Here's Wanamaker. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. To the middle. Here's Cancer. And he can't bank that one in. For three, Hayward. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And that. Kevin, thanks. A double-double for you, Che, at the half. You know they're going to try and stop you the second half. How do you adjust?
Hey, the key for me is to is to keep a high level of activity. Always look for you know an open opportunity to make a play. When I help the team in more ways than just going, it's a huge you know boost for us. Sir, thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime. To Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish. Some teams deciding to change it up. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Outside Tatum. Over Washington. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Tatum's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. And the height, the footwork. No wonder Tatum's knocked down mid-range from there. And the Hornets as a franchise trying to figure out their direction. Yeah, the team was torn on whether to rebuild or go for the playoffs. The fan base, well, they were split as well on what to do. It's been this way for years. Team is just stuck in the middle. Bridges out there with Washington. And there's Monk. Then it's Devin Harris. So that's the Hornets five. And it's Schroeder missing. The D hanging tough and stopping what would normally have been easy. Bridges, no one around him. They get it back. Second shot opportunity. It's good. 18 points for him. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Celtics trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Tatum. Good. And a nice assist for Williams. Williams has got his third assist on the night. Oh, he's perfect from the field this quarter. He's given them a fit out there. Monk kicks to Harris. Always going up for the alley-oop here, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Good anticipation from this crafty wingman. Bridges enjoys taking chances and going for the alley-oop. Passes to Tatum. Schroeder outside. Outside Tatum. Over Monk. Here's Williams. Drops in the layup for two. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the board. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Pass to Washington. Williams with the block. And here's Smart. Ten points for him. And it's Schroeder in the corner. Carries it from three-point range. Schroeder's got 12 in the game. Oh, nice look there from Smart. Finding the open man. There's the pass to Monk. Now Bridges. Back to Monk. For three. Eyes again. And Boston with the rebound. Tatum's got five rebounds tonight. Inside, here's Smart. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Oh, what incredible precision. Brown cutting the D to pieces with his pass. Harris with it. He's got 10. Down low. Pass to Bridges. Charlotte moving it around. Pocket six. Pass to Washington. Over Tatum. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. Celtics leading by three. Smart passes to Schroeder. Wants to get it to Smart and does. Over Harris. Smart misses. Charlotte's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Pass to Washington. He kicks to Harris. back up and that'll be two free throws coming up officials on the call with the foul 
The Hornets have missed four of their eight free throws up to this point. Things not really going their way at the line yet. And as a team, excellent a season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. Walls checked in for Devin Harris. The Celtics also changing it up. Green comes in for Smart. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. And Wanamaker gets it to go. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And after an incredible rookie season, Jason Tatum back to earth just a bit, Chris, in year two. Oh, yeah. All that talent. Tatum getting to the line six times a game. That's how you put pressure on the defense. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Chris, you've been a commentator for the NBA Vegas Summer League. Amazing how much that event has grown. Oh, well, how about this year? The Chinese, the, the Croatian national team. I mean, come on. It's just, it's just, this is a global game, and we're bringing all of them to, to Vegas to, to let fans go up in there and watch them and watch rookies at a young, early age and see the best players. I mean, this is awesome. you got to love how forward-thinking the NBA is. This is really cool to watch. It is. Yeah, and the Hornets, uh, they'll be one of the more disciplined teams you'll find in this league. I mean, they keep mistakes to a minimum on both sides of the ball. That's a big part of why the Hornets are tough to play. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Shot that time, not on target. He missed that one, but I've seen it. Yeah, and I have too, which is why they're okay. But I'm sure if he gets that kind of look again, he's gonna let it fly again. So we see Boston get the win here. They seem to relish their role as the guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off. Look good out there. Hey, hey, let me get a picture. Hey, high five. Come on. Good job, guys. Come on. Hey. Hey, man. Hey. All right, let me get a picture, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Nice job on the glass tonight, Chad. I appreciate that, Ted. So how's it feel to lead the team in rebounding for the first time? A lot of that comes from our team philosophy, and that's all on Coach. He's got us focusing on the right things, you know, paying attention to fundamentals. So whether it's me or my teammate grabbing a glass, it really doesn't matter. Thanks, Chad. All good, bro. Yo, Che, can I grab you for another question? Yeah, shoot. You set a new career high in rebounds tonight. Is that kind of old school mentality something you pride yourself on? It's not old school, Vin. You got to rebound to compete in this league, especially on defensive end. You know this, man. All right, I got what I need. Thanks, Che. All good, V Money. Yo, Che. Thanks for making this. What's up, man? No problem. What do you need me to do? You know, I don't actually know. I think you're just going to be running some drills with the kids. Don can tell us more. Oh, right, yeah. Let's hey, Don. Oh, hey, yeah. What's Lee, up, my man? What's going on, hey, Don. What's up, bro? Che. So, look, I'm at your service. Let me know what you want me to do. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, hang on a second. About to do a 1v1 with the camp. Okay. Hey, I need a contest winner. <laughs> All right. There he is. Come on over here, young man. Hey, let me ask you something. Are you ready to go one on one with an NBA star? Yeah? All right, man. We're going to let you take it out, okay? Oh. Good luck. Use your best move. Come on, guys. Let's clear no, out. No, All right. it's cool. Yeah, easy. <laughs> didn't, didn't realize he'd be here. Hey! Nice shot. Don, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Can you fill me in on what we're doing here? Oh, yeah, ab absolutely. Hey, Che, it would yeah. be great if maybe after lunch you could run some drills with the kids, you know, a little ball handling, maybe some shooting, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I can do that. Whatever the instructors are doing. Yeah. Right? Sound good? Great. Great. Awesome. I'll be right back. All right, thanks, All right, Don. Thanks. Time's lunch. You know, I don't know. Let me find out for you. Gotcha. I got Monet. Monet. All right. 